Hello, everyone. Hello. I bet you're glad we're back. Oh, it's so good to be back. Yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, it really has. It was less than 24 hours. Yeah. Ooh. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, we have some shocking revelations today. Yeah, shocking. I couldn't believe my ears. I know. It's a terrible place for VC. It really is. It sucks. We want to apologise to begin with, because we haven't got a lot of records behind us. Yeah, as VC people, you're supposed to have records behind you to attract attention. So people look at the thumbnail and go, oh, there's some similar geeks and nerds to us. Yeah, and then you have to say, oh, I'll click on that. And then you click on it and you listen to a lot of uninteresting crap. Yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we just want to address a couple of things. We heard that the Waxed and Brother Brian... Oh, they're both like twins, aren't they? They're always on the attack. Oh, uh, yeah. Both of them really are going to be getting greased up and having a good fight, a ding-dong on screen. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Brother Brian's throwing down the gauntlet and it's up to Wax to pick it up. I don't think he will, you know. I think he's too afraid. He might get done. He might get done up the bum. Yeah, he might do, mightn't he? <laughs> oh, he might do. You know, the wax. They're both very similar, aren't they? Very similar characters. They always attack, attack, attack. But they always say, ooh, we're defending ourselves. Yeah, but both of them say things like, oh, it's waxed attack day. Yeah, and how dare you talk about Brother Brian? Yeah, they talk in the third person about themselves. Yeah, and they both say things like, Why don't you come up here and say that to my face? Yeah, I don't get it. They're both bullies, really. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Waxed and Brother Brian. Oh, yeah. It would be great to watch that show, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's hope he picks him up on it. Let's hope that Wax goes, Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, he's probably cowering away though behind Rachel as we speak. Yeah. Well, wuss. Yeah. Oh, there's a few people who'd like to see in wrestling. I heard Eric Weinbender and John at the digital gramophone. They like to get together. Do they? Yeah. They grease each other up and then they roll around naked. Wow. It must look like a couple of porpoises. Yeah, but they do love it so. Wow. I bet they're all slippery and shiny. Oh, yeah. I bet it's a sight. It's a spectacle, ladies and gentlemen. I bet it is. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope the Waxton brother Brian don't do that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's hope not. Oh, that'd be disgusting. Oh, it really would. Um, a, a really shocking development in the VC is... Well, I mean, a lot of you will know this. Yeah, you're going to know this. Mazzy's a slut. Oh, he's an absolute slut. And Michael, 45 RPM. He's a prostitute. Oh, he's a prostitute. I mean, well, a couple of slags, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, prostitutes for views. Oh, they really are. And what is even more shocking... And we always wondered how Melinda Murphy got such a nice house. Yeah, that's because she's a pimp. <laughs> she's a pimp for Mazzy and Michael. Yeah, it's true. But she wouldn't take on Davis. No, I can understand why. He's a bit dirty, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's been there and done that. He's, he's not really, you know, he's not as virginal as the other two. <laughs> no. I mean, those two, I mean, even though they're quite on in years, they still are quite attractive to the eyes. Oh, they really are. And so, you know, there's a very special niche market uh, for Mazzy and Michael and people like them. Yeah, and Melinda, she's in control, isn't she? Yeah, she really is. She knows what she's doing, but she couldn't take on Davis. No, I mean, have you noticed, if you watch the live stream, Davis and Rachel, they're actually... Grooming waxed and James. Oh, I think they might be. I mean, they're always getting Wax to lean into the camera and show his delicate features. Yeah, and Rachel's really working hard to soften him up. 
little by little. Yeah, to make him seem appealing. Yeah, because there's always a market for that kind of guy. Yeah, if you really want someone like that, uh, you know, who's going to, well, well, He's not going to offer a great deal, but I'm sure he'll talk you, tell you about films, take you out to a nice movie, have a nice dinner, and then go back to his bedroom. He only lives in one room. Yeah, go back to his bedroom and, uh, you know, get it on with things. Yeah. He'll probably just watch another movie and go to sleep. Yeah, let's hope so. No one wants to get involved in him, really, do they? No, but James, my goodness, they're grooming him as well, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I think they might be. Have you noticed how Rachel's always, always telling him to stand up and bend over? Yeah. And stand up and do this walk and show us your moves, James. Yeah. I mean, it's terrifying, isn't it? It really is. And then watching James eat. Oh, my goodness. That's terrifying. That is shocking. That's horrible. Once I've ironed that out, I think he might get a few takers. Yeah, but you see, that's what's actually happening in the VC. It's a dirty, grimy place. And people like Rachel and Davis are at the heart of it. Yeah, and Melinda Murphy. Who would have thought? I know, it's shocking. It really is. Oh, and another one of those Muppets on the live stream. You know, Randy, Dead Wax 66. Oh, yeah. Handy Randy, we call him, don't we? Yeah, sometimes we call him Randy Randy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, he was in the army. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. And, you know, they trained him up really well. Yeah. They never let him carry a rifle or anything, did they? No. They said to him, if you want to be in the army, you're going to have to learn how to carve your own weapons. Yeah. So he only ever carried a broomstick, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's too dangerous with anything else. Yeah. But fingers. Oh, I bet. But now he's a carpenter and he makes stools for a living. Wow. Stools. I could do that job. Oh, you could. I've seen some of your stools. They're very, very good. Yeah, I wouldn't need to go to the army to get trained for it. Nah, not at all. I mean, the thing is, I'm a bit suspicious about Randy. Yeah, and Vinyl Richie. We think they're militia. They are militia. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you just got to look at them. The checked shirt on Randy is a giveaway. Yeah, and that cap. My goodness. Mind you, that could be true for most Americans. Yeah, they do look a bit like that, don't they? But Vinyl Richie's got a really good front. No one would assume that he's militia. Nah, I mean, looking at him, you'd think he's just a regular bloke. You know, you're everyone's favourite cuddly uncle. Yeah, but really, wow. He carries a broomstick, doesn't he, at weekends? He really does. I mean, what they're hoping to work on is a machine gun broomstick. Wow. Yeah, you have to fashion a drum of like bullets and you stick it onto the side and you go walking around going ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh brilliant. I'm sure one day people you'll see an uprising and there'll be vinyl Richie and Randy at the head of it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't be at all surprised you know if Harry's music room that guy he'd be there as well. Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he's probably, um, well, he's a bit too much of an old hippie. Yeah, hair is music room, we call him, don't we? Yeah, I bet there's hair all over the place in there. I mean, look at the length of his. My goodness, I bet it's everywhere. I bet you open up a record sleeve and inside it, there's lots of his hairs. Ooh, that's disgusting. Ooh, I bet Michael 45's like that as well. Yeah, but he only has short hair. Yeah, but his dogs. He keeps dogs. Everyone who keeps dogs and pets. It's disgusting to record collectors. Oh, it really is. No one wants to open records with dogs' hairs and cats' hairs and cat pubes and human pubes. Yeah, I bet it's a lot of human pubes. Just guarantee it. I mean, Nick Rideau's collection, I dread to think. Oh, I bet Nick Rideau. Whoa, it makes you shudder. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, it really is. Anyway, people, we better get off uh, before we better inform you of this, because uh, it's sort of alarming. Yeah, some alarming developments. Oh, dear. Well, there you are. That's it. We'll see you all later, then.
Oh dear, there's a knock at the door. You can't see who it is. What you say, what you say, I'll never sit there. What you say, what you say. Shut up, you! Oh, that's better. It's never quite the same doing a video without someone appearing at the door. Oh, that's better. Anyway, people, we'll see you all later. Yeah, bye. You muppets. You muppets.